Hello, YouTube. My name is Alan, and it's that time once again. Let's talk metal. I noticed that it's been a while since I dug into the box of ultra-obscure U.S. heavy metal singles. There's been a lot of other stuff going on to make videos about, but tonight, yeah, we're getting back to our roots and dusting off some forgotten classics, giving them their moment to shine. It's not going to be a lot for me to say about these bands because... Not a lot is really known about them, and they didn't have much of a recording career. But that won't stop us from checking them out and hearing a few clips to see what they sounded like. Our first contestant for this evening comes from Fostoria, Ohio. The band is called Black Rose. Now, Black Rose is a name you usually think of with, you know, a Tin Lizzy album or the new wave of British heavy metal band called Black Rose, who made a lot of good recordings over the years. But this is a band from Ohio. They only made one single. It's on North Coast Records and came out in 1982, so pretty early date. It features the songs Slow Down and Sidewinder. And tonight, we're going to check out a clip of Sidewinder by Ohio's Black Rose. So there's a little bit of Black Rose out of Ohio. Great track, Sidewinder. Got a good heavy feel to it. A uh, good pacey beat. Always liked the tune quite a bit. As I said, there's not a lot to say about this band. They didn't make any other recordings. The flip side slow down is... Uh, doesn't quite hit the mark. It's not a bad song. It's not like, you know, bubblegum pop or something. It just doesn't have quite the same heaviness to it that Sidewinder does. There are a couple of footnotes worth mentioning about the band. First off, the track Sidewinder is featured on the Scrap Metal Volume 2 compilation that was released here in early 2023 on Riding Easy Records. This is Volume 1 that came out last year. Riding Easy is known for putting out the Brown Acid series of compilations featuring old sort of you know, proto-metal, psych, fuzz, bonehead, you know, whatever you want to call it, all this, you know, cool underground stuff, mainly from the 70s, but also the late 60s. Well, they've also started a series unearthing some of these lost early U.S. metal gems, like the stuff I tend to obsess over quite a bit. So if you liked the Sidewinder track, but you don't want to track down a single from 1982, this is a way you can get a physical copy of it. I'd encourage folks to support the label and pick up a copy of this. The compilations are not expensive. It's a cool way to hear some old, long-lost bands. And if the series does well, that'll hopefully encourage them to keep putting out more volumes. The label does reportedly always track down members of the band and make sure that they get some money. So they are paid for having their songs featured on the compilations, which is really, really cool as well. All right, the only other footnote about Black Rose is that there's only one member credited as being in the band on Metal Archives, and that fellow was also in a band prior to Black Rose. This band was called Excalibur, spelled with an X-caliber, and they made a single in 1981, so a year earlier than the Black Rose single. Uh, this is the Excalibur single on, I guess the label's pronounced Mos Eka. Maybe it's an Ohio thing I don't get. Uh, the song Fire on this side is eh, pretty nonchalant, not one I ever got into. But the flip side, Dark Stranger, is one of the absolute gems of the early U.S. heavy metal single scene. This track goes on all playlists of top songs that you should hear from that era by these small, unknown bands. So kind of cool that the fellow got a uh, single put out with both of those projects, and both the singles contain one excellent track. All right, for our second entry tonight, we are going to hop over to Middleton, New York, and check out a band that I wouldn't say they were twisted, because that would be misleading. We're not talking about that band. But I definitely would say this band was a little bit bent. Uh, we're talking about a band called Bent Circus. 
And they spelled circus about as wrong as they possibly could. So bonus points for remembering to spell your name incorrectly. It was required back in the 80s if you wanted to be taken seriously. You couldn't have like, you know, proper grammar and be a real headbanger. That was, that just didn't work. Anyway, Bent Circus released this one single on Evil Records in 1985. It features the songs Pay It In Blood and Stop Your Bitchin'. So the song title is definitely a bit more forceful and in your face. Let's find out if the music can live up to the song titles. We want to check out a clip of Pay It In Blood from New York's Bent Circus. All right, there is Bent Circus, and uh, yeah, a little crazy, very heavy, very aggressive for these kind of early U.S. metal bands. Got kind of a punk vibe to it, dose of Motorhead, maybe some hardcore mixed in there. Uh, really going kind of over the top and kind of cool. It does admittedly have a kind of amateurish vibe about it, too. These are not, you know, virtuosos who have been, you know, at the conservatory learning their craft for the past four years with a degree in music theory. But yeah, the song holds up quite well. The flip side is in a very similar vein on this one. So yeah, you get two songs of, you know, kind of bent, sick, twisted, uh, a little bit crazy sounding early U.S. heavy metal. The Bent Circus single is unfortunately a bit hard to find. It doesn't turn up for sale very often, and it can get uh, up into the three figures pretty easily on those occasions when it does show up. I didn't mention it before, but the Black Rose single doesn't command a real high price. It shows up a little more often. And can be got pretty affordably if you want that original vinyl relic. Bent Circus will take longer and probably cost a lot more to find, unfortunately. The band recorded a series of demos that apparently lasted until about 1994. That's the latest one listed on Metal Archives. The band's photo on the mothership has them in you know, some face paint kind of stuff, so they definitely seem to be going for a little bit of a theatric, really over-the-top and in-your-face kind of delivery. And I think they did it pretty well based on the results of this one single they made uh, and got out there before they disappeared. Okay, we got one last entry for the evening. We're going to stay in New York, but hop over to New York City proper for a band with the kind of cool and crazy name of Rex Vector. This is the only one of the three singles I'm talking about tonight that was ever issued with a picture sleeve. So we get some cool amateur black and white graphics there, smashing guitars, screaming, yeah, all kinds of you know good heavy metal tropes going on there. This single is also from 1985, same as the Bent Circus. Maybe these guys shared a stage somewhere in the upstate at some point. Who knows? But this one features the songs Sit Tight and Breathe Fire. And Breathe Fire is the one that we'll check out a little bit of right now.
Yeah, so Rex Vector kind of winds it up and lets it go on this one. You know, while the production's a little odd, eh, these are small bands that were getting one shot at making two songs. They didn't exactly have pyromania-level budgets to work with. But yeah, Breathe Fire is a barn burner and a page turner. It belongs on every playlist of early American classics from the deeper parts of the underground. The flip side, unfortunately, is a tad disappointing. Sit Tight is a lot more restrained feeling. It kind of just moves along at a very steady pace. It doesn't have that wild, crazy, over-the-top vibe that Breathe Fire does. Nonetheless, excellent single. Kind of a shame that the band has disappeared off and left no other trace that I'm aware of. And that's going to do it for this installment of Let's Talk Metal. So let me wrap this up, and now we'll talk metal in the comments down below. Does anybody know anything about these three bands? <laughs> There's not a lot of information out there about them. Um, the Scrap Metal series always had some a few little, you know, quick notes about each band, so there might be some more information about Black Rose included in there. But yeah, I've never found out a lot more about Bent Circus or Rex Vector. The Rex Vector single, by the way, Kind of one of those mid-priced rarities. It does not show up very often. It can be a pain to track down, but it is not super expensive when it does show up. So if you're patient and don't mind spending a little bit of money, you can track that one down as well. But yeah, let me know what you think of these three singles. If you liked any of them, if you didn't like any of them, hey, that's quite okay too. And if you know anything about the bands, it's always interesting to hear. Uh, every now and then, band member does track one of these videos down and provide some more information in the comments. So that's always interesting to learn more about them too. All right. I have talked enough. Let's wrap this one up. So until next time, everybody take care. And as always keep banging your head and breathing fire.